There's just a couple tips I want to share with you. Um, um, working with these uh, paper piece princesses and little girls. Uh, I just want to share with you how I shade and get their cheeks on and some shading and very simply. I use chalk. I love chalk. Uh, it's very easy to use. It's very forgiving. And the way I go about it is, well, first of all, when you get this, you can print it out on a um, piece of flesh colored, your flesh colored paper. It comes so that you can print it out all at once. I also have other pages that have just the clothing, and they are in the Sure Cuts A Lot 2 files, so you can cut out all their clothing, all their hair, all their uh, crowns, hats, roller skates, frog, etc. The only thing I don't have in the SVG is the uh, faces and the arms, because you should really just print them out and then cover that from there. Take your dresses, whatever color, and just pile it on, add it on, as I've done with these. This is how I did these, and I just add the different layers. I also do give you the eye that you can cut out on um, your Sure Cuts A Lot 2 program, so in case you want to do that, you can do that. But I just want to give you a couple of tips. I've used some a Q-tip, some uh, light brown chalk, and I just apply the chalk underneath the hair, where the hair would go, underneath the neck, Okay, and I'll probably go underneath the uh, armbands, maybe down one side of her, her arm. Now this doesn't look too difficult, does it? Okay, and the, the key thing here is to take a larger pom-pom and scrub. After you've got your chalk on there, I hope you can see it, you just scrub, which softens it. And if you get too much chalk on, then the way to t take care of that is take a piece of masking tape and uh, fold it so that it's stuck to itself. And then you can just fold it up into a little piece. And if you put that on there, it'll take the chalk right off. You have to work at it a little bit. But say you put a big glob on there and it, you know, you have to work at it, it'll come off. And um, for the cheeks, I'll take another Q-tip and I like the pink chalk. And I just put it on. You might have to do that a couple of times. Okay, you see the black I got there accidentally, and I, I will take that off with masking tape. All right, and then for the black, for the eyes, I did this once, as you can tell, and the video didn't come out good, so I'm doing it again. You just, I have a small uh, brush. It's hardly got a nub on the bottom. And I just go to the side of the eye with the black, and I take my Q-tip and my um, pliers, and I just uh, rub it in. And it's beautiful. It's very easy and fast and it's not a lot of mess. And then I take this workable fix-it 1306 by Krylon. Uh, Margaret in my group, the working uh, artist group, TWAG, gave me that hint and boy it really works. Thank you Margaret. You just seal it and it doesn't come off. It, it, it looks like you painted it but yet you didn't because it's just chalk and it's wonderful. It's soft and so you spray that. Do it outside or on the front porch, back porch. Don't do it inside because it is you know a sealant. Uh, and then it's there. Then you can cut out the hair any color you want. You don't have to use black. You don't have to use any of the color. Any color you want. Um, with the uh, shirt cuts a lot or you can print them out. They'll, they will be printed. You can print out anything you want. I give you a lot of different um, options. You can print out everything they've got and put it on any color you want. Use the uh, Cricut to cut it out or cut it out by hand. Okay, and the other thing that I use, I use glitter pens. Uh, I don't know if they're real popular for everybody, but I like them. Like on her brown hair, I use this brown glitter pen, and it is by, it's a gel writer, okay? And I don't know if you can see where I put the glitter on her brown hair. I also use this yellow on this princess, on her dress, and then on this girl, I um, used a, a dark pink which matched the trim. You could put trim on these. You could do anything with these. Now for this little lady, what I did was I printed her out, her clothes out in white, and then I cut the frog out. 
and I colored them in with green marker and added some glitter dots. But actually, the frog can be cut out one piece at a time with your SVG. I have that in that cutting file. All right, one other tip I wanted to share with you. If you want to ever outline, say, a piece of their skin or their clothing or something, but you don't want a big heavy line, one way to do it is get a, a pen, a marker with the, the fat end at the bottom, and just put your pen down and go along the side. You will actually be making a mark underneath as well. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. But just along the edge. You don't go on top of it and mark. You go on the edge. And that makes a big difference because then when you're done, you just have a narrow marking on your item and most of it's on, on your paper below. And I believe that that's all I uh, had to tell you. So chalk workable fix-it markers and glitter pen and you are set you can make tons and tons of these all different kinds of ways thanks for stopping by